In today's video, I'm going to take you on a small tour of Champlain, Minnesota, which sits on the north side of the Twin Cities of Minneapolis and St. Paul, right after this. Hey everyone, I'm Nick Sondahl with Ake to Homes, and this is Minneapolis Living. If you're new to the channel, I make videos featuring the Twin Cities and what it's like to live here, as well as key information on the housing market. So if that's the content you're here for, well, you know what to do. Hit the subscribe button. When you're there, ring the bell. That way you're alerted when I upload new content each week. And if you're thinking about buying or selling real estate here in the Twin Cities, well, you have to reach out. You can call, text, email, hit me up on social media, but I would love to start the conversation with you. Now, onto the tour. Champlain, Minnesota is one of the smaller communities in terms of square miles in the overall Twin Cities market. It's really a bedroom community. It's a commuter type community. Uh, it's about 15 to 20 minutes from downtown Minneapolis and it borders up against the Mississippi River, which is one of the best features about it. It's only about 25,000 people big, so it's not a huge community, as I said. And there isn't a ton when it comes to industrial space, commercial space, things like that. It's mostly residential, but the best part about that is where I'm now standing, and that's Andrews Park. Champlin has a ton of parks, whether it's a big one like Andrews here or some of the small little neighborhood parks. But overall, the best part about Champlin are the parks and Andrews is no slouch. As you can see behind me, they've got splash pads for the kids as well as jungle gyms. And I'm passing by a ton of baseball fields where they have little league tournaments, softball tournaments. And then in front of me, now behind, more soccer fields, all sorts of things to do here at Andrews. So one of the best features are the parks here in Champlain and there are no shortage of them. Now on to our next featured area. I'm at Three Rivers Park District, Elm Creek Park Reserve and Off Leash Dog Park. Now I mentioned this park once before and I mentioned Three Rivers Park District when it comes to living in the Twin Cities area because the Three Rivers is just so terrific and all the different parks and all the different amenities available for those who are living near those parks. Now, uh, Elm Creek Park Reserve is both in Champlain and in Maple Grove, but the dog park or the off-leash dog park is just here in Champlain. And this, as you can see, is acres and acres and acres of paths and trails for you and your pups to run around, get exercise, what have you. Uh, they do have some small, smaller uh, enclosed areas for small dogs or dogs that are maybe skittish who aren't very uh, comfortable around other animals. But if you have pups or if you just want to come out for a hike, man, a beautiful day like today, it's just a perfect place to come. I'm at my second and final point of interest here in Champlain uh, because, well, it's the most important one and it's the most exciting one. Old historic dams were built uh, here because Champlain was really um, a major factor in the city's mill production, which gave Minneapolis the term mill city. We ground a lot of flour here in the Twin Cities because of the Mississippi and Minnesota rivers, we're able to uh, get a lot of mills going. Now, it's not that little historic dam that I just showed you that's the point of interest. It's actually Mississippi River. The river here is just an awesome place to hang out. Uh, whether you want to have a picnic, you throw your boat in and just cruise up and down the river. You can go um, miles upon miles of water here just enjoying the day. Um, as you can, on the other side of the river, that's the city of Anoka. Uh, that's on the north side of the river. We are here on the south side, obviously in the city of Champlain. But if you're looking for just to get your boat out and cruise the river for the day, uh, this is a great spot to do it. Uh, the public boat, I'm here at the public boat landing. And um, well, gosh, I kind of wish I was out there today. Now, right behind me is Highway 169. And like I mentioned earlier, it divides Champlain into two sections, essentially. It's also the spot where you're gonna find the majority of the commercial space. So if you're looking to get groceries or get a cup of coffee, your oil changed, or maybe just get a bite to eat, Highway 169 and up and down this corridor has the majority of the stuff you're going to need. 
And of course it also has a target because well, we're in Minnesota and there's always a target around. If you're looking for more, more extensive shopping, you're going to need to head over to the uh, shops at Arbor Lakes, which are in Maple Grove. And that's about a five to 10 minute uh, drive away. But ultimately, if you need your day-to-day -day stuff, Champlin's got it for you. Now, Champlin does have its own school system. Um, now, it's part of the Anoka Hennepin School District. And I'm here at Champlin Park Senior High School, home of the Rebels. Uh, Champlin Park uh, Senior High gets an A minus rating from niche.com. Uh, actually, right across the street over there in the distance, you can see Jackson Middle School, also highly rated. And then Oxbow Elementary, which is on the other side of the school here, uh, also gets an A minus rating. So overall, the Champlin schools get a pretty high rating. Uh, and it serves all of Champlin Park, some of Dayton, some of Brooklyn Park, but overall Champlin um, really rates quite highly. When it comes to the high school here, uh, they've got a very high graduation rate and they serve almost 3,000 students, nine through 12, uh, where the middle school goes six through eight. So uh, check out the schools here if you're, if you're uh, gonna be sending your kids here. Um, you know, state of Minnesota has open enrollment, however, uh, priority do does go to citizens or people living within the district first. Now, when it comes to the housing market in Champlain, it's essentially split, split up into two sections, east and west of Highway 169. We're starting here on the east side as it's the older of the two neighborhoods and falls closer into the price point of the average Twin Cities market, $330,000. In that neighborhood, you're going to find a lot more of the rambler or ranch style homes as well as split entries. When you move west, as you can see, you get more contemporary builds. These are the executive two-story type homes, which command a bit higher price point, usually in the four hundred dollars to $600,000 price points. And these homes are five plus bedrooms, four plus baths, three car garages, as you can see. Now, no matter where you decide to purchase in Champlain, expect to move quickly because days on market is only five, as opposed to the Twin Cities, air greater Twin Cities area of 10 days on market. And Champlain also is catching a bit of a premium, getting about 106% of original list price. So there is about a 6% bump on average when you're talking about making your offer. Now the last neighborhood I'll show you here is a unique one because it sits on water and that's the Mississippi River. As you notice, those are some beautiful luxury homes, but it also has a bunch of small cottage style homes because building on water, uh, well, it's nothing new and it goes way back. No matter where you decide to purchase on the water though, expect major premium because that's what you get in the state of Minnesota. Hey, if you're finding value in this video, I would love it if you hit that like button. It really helps the video get out to more and more people. And if you have any questions or comments, well, I'll leave them below. But of course, don't forget to subscribe. The first of two hotspots here in Champlain is Q Fanatic. I actually came here on Wednesday. Well, they're only open Thursday through Sunday. So if you're going to go to Q Fanatic, make sure you show up no earlier than Thursday. Q Fanatic does some of the best barbecue in all the state of Minnesota. Um, and frankly, it might be the best barbecue that's outside of the city of Minneapolis or St. Paul. So whether you live in Champlain or just anywhere in the Twin Cities, wherever you decide to live, you gotta come out, uh, come check out Q Fanatic because they do amazing barbecue. Okay, after you hit up Q Fanatic, you gotta come out to the second hot spot, which is really just a cool spot. It's Cullen's Ice Cream, where they do old fashioned ice cream, homemade, homemade waffle cones, Man, it's the perfect dessert and perfect finish to that great barbecue. Champlain's got a lot of awesome spots, but Q Fanatic and then Cullen's Ice Cream for uh, candy and malts and shakes and stuff. Man, you can't beat it. So I just came across the street from Cullen's and usually I only do two hot spots, but I thought I needed to give a third. And right across the street is one of the most popular burger joints in the entire Twin Cities. But I'm gonna tell you this right now, I don't eat at this place. This is the 5A Club. They claim to be the originator of the Juicy Lucy. Well, they may be the originator. That debate is still raging, but they ain't the best. The best is in, at Matt's Bar in South Minneapolis. So, you can go to 5A, 
and have a Juicy Lucy if you want, but it ain't original and it's certainly not the best. So, thanks for watching my tour of Champlin, Minnesota. I really appreciate you watching. Please stay safe, please stay healthy, and I'll see you next time. Thank you.